Again, from your Factor Fiction article, Browns are closer to picking in the top five next spring than being a playoff team. Factor Fiction. Fact. And I think, again, you know, we talked just mentioning it, the fact that the easy part of the schedule we thought was going to be five weeks is now four weeks because Jane Daniels of the Washington Commanders looks like is the offensive rookie of September for me, at least. I mean, he's been sensational. I mean, you talk about a guy's completing better than 80% of his passes through four weeks of the season. I know the Browns are going to be the toughest defense he's faced this season, but the bottom line is Jane Daniels has been sensational. And then after that, you have you're in Philadelphia. Then you host the Bengals, Ravens and Chargers in the next five in the four weeks after that. And you can make a case that going to Philadelphia is going to be the you can make a case for that being the easiest game of this five week stretch. So the Browns for a team that really just hasn't done much of anything consistently well for four weeks, that's a big reason why they're one three. And even looking at tankathon.com, which they do they keep track of the stuff of the draft order. If the season ended right now, the Browns would be picking fifth. It's been a long time since the Browns have been picking that early. But bottom line this team has underperformed. I don't think there's any question about that, especially against weaker competition. Now it's about to get tougher. How do they respond? They certainly have the talent to respond and turn it around. And maybe they go home to since against the Bengals and they're three and three. And all of a sudden we're talking about maybe that, you know, they found something they were able to turn around, but the bottom line, they got to show it on the field because right now they look like a team that's a top five pick team and not a team that's contending for a playoff spot. Yeah, I would agree. There's no identity on offense yet. Could there be one? Maybe. And also, the defense has not played as well as we thought it would. I, I, I don't debate that. I, I, who's to blame? I don't know. I, I don't know that you can blame one person, one facet. You better fix it, or there's going to be people that will find people to blame. Yeah, I think any – I think – I even said this after week one. I think collectively – Everybody in this team can look at themselves in the mirror and be like, I need to be better. I think every I think there's every single player on that team can say that. I don't know if there's one player, you know, or anything that can say four weeks into the season that I've done good enough. And I mean, when you're a one in three football team, that's the unfortunate reality is guys aren't doing good enough. And then different parts of the game are breaking down, the defense not being able to to tackle well the last couple of weeks in particular. They don't look anything like the defense we saw a year ago. They can still get close to that. We know defense is hard to sustain year to year, but bottom line, they're not playing up to their standard. We know they can be better. We've seen them be better. It's just on them to just simply be better to a man.